And now unlawful love. In Measure for Measure, Shakespeare has drawn a narrow, self-righteous judge, Angelo, who finds himself caught against his own will in the very sin he most condemns. What's this? What's this? Is this her fault or mine? The tempter or the tempted? Who sins most, huh? Not she. Nor doth she tempt, but it is I that lying by the violet in the sun do as the carrion does, not as the flower, corrupt with virtuous season. Can it be that modesty may more betray our sense than woman's lightness? Having waste ground enough, shall we desire to raise the sanctuary and pitch our evils there? Oh, fie, fie, fie! What dost thou, or what art thou, Angelo? Dost thou desire her foully for those things that make her good? Oh, let her brother live. Thieves for their robbery have authority when judges steal themselves. What do I love her, that I desire to hear her speak again and feast upon her eyes? What is I dream of? Oh, cunning enemy, that to catch a saint with saints dost bait thy hook. Most dangerous is that temptation that doth goad us on to sin in loving virtue. Never could the strumpet, with all her double vigour, art and nature, once stir my temper. But this virtuous maid subdues me quite, ever till now, when men were fond, I smiled and wondered how. <laughs>